Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Post Office Management. Speed and efficient information processing is important to socially and highly developed technology. Computer produce the burden of handling vast amount of information manually and replace it with technology. The post office management system is designed here to present automation of post office service. This project has a lot of advantages. It improves the performance of the company and reduces the tedious jobs like delay work, long procedures and provides automated services. Quick processing is enabled which helps in transaction and update of master record with easy generation of report. Paperwork is considerably reduced and offers better security and is economical. The post office management system is an important requirement in our day-to-day -day life. Through this automated system, a customer's availability as well as his old record can be accessed. This system can be used in many kind of education departments and distribution of copies of the system among management and staff members for obtaining information about the customers. The project has a lot of useful features. It has customer information and the total amount payable. All details about even the smallest of topic are displayed. It maintains the old record for future reference. Automatic updates as per the status are also done. User enquiries is also handled well. This system is created in a GUI based system that makes it easy for handling. Now let's see the data flow diagram of our project. In the level 0, the admin enter, he log in, if he is a valid user, he can produce the other process. His process are adding product detail, editing of view the detail, transferring money of the user, register post, RDA money record, parcel service. All these records are maintained in the database for future use. In the level 1, the user registration is done. During the login phase, his validation is checked. If he is a valid user, he can view the product, purchase the product due to his wish, pay EB bill online, pay telephone bill. Now let's see the demo of our project. This is our home page. The admin is logging in. Give his username and password as admin and admin. Login. This is the admin dashboard. The admin can add product, edit or view detail, money order, parcel service, register post or bill money. Now he is going to add a product. I am going to give the product ID as PS004. Uh, envelope name as post cover. Select the image. Then price of the particular cover, click submit, the detail has been added, the admin can view the detail that he has added, he can edit the price of the particular product, the price of the product is 35 now, I am going to change it as 30, click the update button, the price has been updated, the admin can do money order for the user. So that he is getting detail of user here. Give the sender's name, sender's address, sender's phone number, the amount he wants to post, receiver's name, receiver's address. And the receiver's phone number finally. Click the submit button. The value has been added. The admin can also do the parcel service. This is the parcel service page. As usual, he has to give the sender's name who wants to do the parcel. Sender's address. Center's phone number, the state, the weight of the parcel, as the weight, the amount changes automatically, 
the receiver's name the receiver's address to deliver the parcel and the receiver phone number for verification the detail of the parcel has service has been saved that one can also do register post the register post the name of the center who sent the post center's address sender's phone number the state in which the post has to be delivered the amount receiver's name receiver's address and finally the receiver's phone number click the submit the details has been added and the money will be transferred to the particular receiver the admin can also maintain the rd money detail the name of the user who want to deposit the rd money they has to select the category whether they are working or student the number of years they are going to access this scheme and the amount they want to join for deposit amount per month that they can pay the address of the user phone number click the submit button the rd money detail of the particular user has been saved the role of admin has over now he can log out now it's the turn for the user the new user can click the register button they have to provide the name the age the gender valid email id the user name the password click the register button the user has registered the details now they can log in give the username given during registration the password if it is a valid username and password he may log in into the dashboard valid user so this is the user dashboard these are the item added by the user admin the user can view the product details they can purchase online pay ab bill pay telephone bill and finally they can log out now i am going to purchase the product id ps02 so click the id the user will be redirected to the purchase item page the number of item he want to purchase suppose uh, i want to purchase four item the total amount will be calculated automatically the bank name i have the account my card number click the pay button amount will be transferred and the product will be delivered now the user is going to pay the eb bill online he has to give his consumer number that is his electricity bill number card number as he give his number his basic information will be delivered the units he used and the total amount click the proceed button now he is going to pay the bill online he has to select the bank in which he has the account and click online payment so his basic detail will be displayed his valid card number click pay button now his 
amount of 800 will be transmitted and automatically his EB bill will be paid in online. Now the user can pay telephone bill. As usual he has to give his consumer number. But with his consumer number his basic information will be displayed. His consumer name, his bill amount, the due date. He has to click the proceed button. Then select the bank in which he has the account. Click online payment. His valid card number. Then the amount will be transmitted successfully. And his telephone bill will be paid online. The uh, role of the user has been over. Then finally, log out. Thank you.